in this video i will show you a series rl circuit see i have a resistor r which is connected in series with an inductor whose inductance is l and i am supplying the circuit with an alternating voltage source v this v is given by v equal to v m sin omega t now from the circuit i will show you the phasor diagram of this rl circuit by showing all the steps after that i will talk about voltage triangle and at last i will show you the phase relationship between the applied voltage v and the current i flowing in the circuit in the second video i will talk about impedance of the circuit impedance triangle power and power triangle in the last video i will show you the power equation the power that is absorbed in a rl circuit now let me proceed with the circuit example here we are applying v equal to v m sin omega t let's say the rms value of the applied voltage is equal to v and how do we get the rms value of the applied voltage by dividing the maximum value of this alternating voltage with root over 2 let's say the current that is flowing in the circuit is small i and the rms value of that current is capital i the voltage across the resistor is v r which is equal to the current that is flowing in the circuit is i into r and the voltage across this inductor vl is i into xl this i is the rms current in case of vr and vl therefore our vr and vl will indicate the rms value of voltage or rms quantities now see this is a total series circuit that means in this circuit the current i will be same all over the circuit as this is a closed circuit i can easily apply kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop in phasor form so i will apply kvl in the circuit in phasor form kvl states that algebraic sum of voltage rises will be equal to algebraic sum of voltage drops in a circuit here we will raise the voltage by using the source and the resistor r and the inductor l will absorb voltage therefore i will get phasor voltage p equal to the sum of voltage absorbed by the resistor plus voltage across the inductor v l okay see here i am denoting the phasors with vector sign because a phasor is one kind of vector diagram to specify a vector we need to know the magnitude of that vector and the direction of that vector okay direction that means we will define that direction by using an angle the phasor of an alternating quantity also deals with the amplitude and phase of the alternating quantity so i can say that phasor diagram is one kind of vector diagram okay see vr is given by ir and vl is given by ixl so if i denote this with equation 1 in the second equation i can write v will be the sum of ir vector and i x l vector let's say this is our equation number 2 by using equation 1 or equation 2 i will draw the phasor diagram of this series rl circuit 
Now I will show you how to draw the feather diagram of series RL circuit. We will draw the feather diagram of this vector applied voltage vector V equal to sum of VR and VL. When we have to draw the feather diagram in any AC circuit, at first we have to take a reference feather. In an AC circuit, we take that parameter as a reference feather which remains same throughout the circuit. In the RL circuit, you will see the current feather I will remain same all over the circuit. Therefore, I will take the current I as our reference feather and I will denote or show you that current feather with a line segment. O A and I will take the reference feather in the plus X direction. We take the reference feather I as it remains same throughout the circuit. Okay. See this is our positive X axis. Consider this blue line is our current feather O A. Okay. This is our current feather O A. In this circuit we have resistor and inductor. If we have capacitor or combination of resistor, inductor or capacitor, that will be termed as impedance Z. In a pure resistor, if I have a resistor R in a circuit and if the voltage drop in the resistor is R due to current flow I through that resistor, in that resistor voltage V R and current I through that resistor I will be in phase that means they will go in the same direction if i take the current feather in this direction you will see in case of the resistor voltage will go in the same direction if i take the current feather let's say in this direction you will see voltage feather will go in the same direction this is what i have shown here let's say this blue arrow indicates our current feather i from this origin as in case of pure resistor VR and I are in phase that means phase difference between them will be 0 degree therefore I will indicate the voltage feather VR with this red arrow so in case of a pure resistor V and I are in phase that means they will go in the same direction because the angular dis displacement between them will be 0 and in case of a pure inductor if I have an inductor like this the voltage across the inductor let's say VL if the current flow is I therefore you will see our voltage VL leads I by 90 degree or our current I lacks VL by 90 degree this indicates that VL leads I by 90 degree that means if I take the current phasor in this direction our voltage phasor will be 90 degree ahead of the current phasor therefore we have to take the VL in this direction such that the current phasor creates a positive 90 degree angle that means if I want to go from current phasor to voltage phasor I have to rotate by an angle of 90 degree in counterclockwise direction and here you will see with respect to this voltage phasor current phasor I will lag by an amount of 90 degree so if I take our current phasor in this direction so if I want to get into voltage phasor I have to rotate by an angular displacement of plus 90 degree or in counterclockwise direction 90 degree to get the voltage phasor VL or if I take the voltage phasor let's say in this direction as I lags VL by 90 degree if I want to go from VL to I therefore I have to move by an angle of 90 degree but this time in clockwise direction therefore this angle should be minus 90 degree with respect to this VL so in a pure inductor voltage leads current by an angle of C we have current phasor OA in this direction our total applied voltage V is a sum of phasor voltage VR and phasor voltage VL so here I will draw phasor vector VR draw the voltage phasor VR we will denote that line segment with OB which is in phase with the reference phasor I from the 
origin c we will draw vr from the origin and denote that with ob and it will be in phase with the reference phase or our phase current i c in case of this series circuit the voltage across this r is vr and the current that is flowing in this resistor is r in case of a pure resistor our voltage vr and our current i go in the same direction or the phase difference between them will be zero degree so here you will see the current through this resistor is i and the voltage drop is v therefore if i take the reference phase or current in this direction our voltage o b will also go in the same direction and this will be our voltage drop v r here v r is given with v r equal to i r this indicates that as v r and i are going in the same direction so v r and i are in phase okay from the term this is the terminating point of this v r draw the voltage phase or vl as bc at the right angles to the current phase or from the terminating point of vrc our v is the sum of vr and vl so we will start drawing vl vector from the terminating point of vr now see we will denote vl vector with bc now look at this inductor the current through this inductor is i and the voltage across this inductor is vl in a pure inductor if i take the current in this direction if i want to get into the voltage across that i must revolve by an angle of positive 90 degree or an angle of 90 degree in counter clockwise direction to get the voltage phasor because in an inductor voltage leads current by 90 degree so this is the direction of current i that is flowing through that inductor therefore i will start drawing our voltage vl 90 degree with respect to this reference phasor and i will denote that voltage phasor with bc vl will be i x l see i have vr and vl if i add this o and c i will get our voltage v because this is a phasor and this is a phasor if i add the origin of this vr and the terminating point of this vl i will get the sum of vr and v and vl so this will be our phasor representation of or phasor diagram of rl series circuit now see as this is a 90 degree angle you will see this will also be 90 degree and this is a right angle triangle because this angle is 90 degree and you will see here we have drawn the triangle by using the voltage component of the circuit therefore this triangle is known as voltage triangle now look at the current phasor this is our current phasor and this is our voltage phasor here you will see our voltage phasor v will lead current by an angle of phi so i can say that v leads i by an angle of phi or current i lags v by an angle of phi that means in an inductive circuit current i always lags voltage or v always leads current i see as v leads i by phi if i apply an alternating voltage v equal to v m sin omega t in the circuit i will get a current alternating current i equal to i m sin omega t minus phi degree minus phi indicates that our voltage v leads i by an angle of phi now see if i take the alternating voltage v and the alternating current i in the y axis and omega t in the 
x axis you will see as this is vm sin omega t the origin of the of this voltage will be from this zero point and as this is i equal to im sin omega t minus phi let's say the origin of this current i is phi degree away from the origin of the voltage therefore you will see as the origin of the current i lacks the origin of the voltage v or as the origin of the current i is phi degree away from the origin of the voltage our voltage leads i by phi or i lacks voltage v by phi see here as our phi is lagging that means our current is lagging this indicates that if I take the power factor of any inductive circuit which is equal to cosine phi which will be lagging because in a pure inductive circuit or a resistive inductive circuit current lags voltage so according to that our power factor will also be lagging if the current leads voltage therefore our power factor will be leading okay so this is how we classify the leading and lagging condition of a power factor okay that's it thank you